Today we're casting our gaze back to the 90s and the height of Britpop. The four members of Blur were Damon Albarn, Graham Coxon, Alex James and Dave Rountree. I first photographed Damon Albarn for Elle magazine at the start of Blur's success. Soon after that, I was commissioned by the Sunday Times magazine to photograph the group. At that time, there was major rivalry between Blur and Oasis. They were compared in the light of one being middle class and the other working class. Liam Gallagher strutted. Damon padded on stage quietly, powerfully. I was definitely in the Blur camp. So I was pleased to meet them in a cafe in Kensal Road in Ludbrook Grove. After a good fry-up, we took a walk through the park. Bags in hand, there was lots of boyish banter, and a few days later we met at a studio where a video for Beetlebum was being recorded. I found this fax post-shoot to address to one of the photo editors at the Sunday Times magazine. My lens seems constantly be tr to be trained over cups of tea and plates littered with greasy fries and baked beans. I can tell you what calf's below visits, what papers they read in the morning, that they fart frequently, swear, play the guitar and fancy crumpled clothes. Image conscious is not how I would describe them. After the band split up, I was commissioned by Murray Clare to photograph Alex James for an accompanying Q&A feature. By then, he was married, living in the country and had a bunch of kids and was making cheese. He talked about the hedonism of the late 90s with the millennium on the horizon and talked about how Damon Hurst and Keith Allen were part of this wild time. Years later, I photographed Damon Albarn and Jamie Hewlett after the formation of the cartoon band Gorillaz at Damon's studio for a Sunday Times advertising campaign. Damon was recording, working and creating as he ever was. The work and the music has evolved over the years with so many collaborations. I'm still a huge fan.